Hello there, and it's good to have you logging on to Hoo-Ha Sports Day. In this episode, we will bring you a look at the English Championship. That's one division below the Premier League. And as mentioned previously, as exciting as the EPL is, this season should be an interesting one in the Championship. So we'll look at how they finished last season and how they've started the 2011-2012 campaign. But first up, some Premier League news flash. Riots in London continued for the fourth consecutive day with reports saying that it has spread to other areas away from London such as Birmingham and Manchester. The Premier League will decide today if any of the matches will be called off just as England's friendly with the Netherlands on Tuesday. The fixtures that may be affected in London involve home games for Spurs, Fulham and Queen's Park Rangers. To some transfer news, Wesley Schneider will be having discussions with Manchester United with a move to Old Trafford expected in the next 48 hours. It has been reported that Inter Milan have agreed a fee of £32 million and all that's left is negotiating personal terms and his wages, reported to be around £200,000 a week. <whistles> Meanwhile, Cesc Fabregas' protected move to Barcelona may finally be realised with all parties concerned hoping to seal the deal by the weekend. The sudden rush to complete the deal can be attributed to UEFA rules. If Fabregas plays a part in Arsenal's match with Udinese on Tuesday, he will not feature in Barca's Champions League campaign should the move happen. The new deal is lesser than Arsenal's asking price of £40 million. And finally in our newsflash, old Chelsea, what were you thinking? The Blues have revealed a new third kit, and boy, doesn't it look reminiscent of Spurs? And I think it's best we'll just let the fans have a field day with this. Okay, time for us to get into a review and a preview of the English Championship. It's the second tier of English League and the goal for all 24 teams is promotion to the Premier League. The top two get automatic qualification while those who finish from third to sixth will battle each other in a playoff with only one joining the top two for promotion. Let's look at how they finished last season. Queen's Park Rangers and Norwich gained direct entry to the Premier League, while Swansea, Cardiff, Reading and Nottingham Forest had to sort it out via the playoffs, resulting in Swansea gaining promotion. And a growing up clubs like Forest, Leeds, Leicester, Ipswich, Watford and Middlesbrough were staples in the top flight as they were all close to making a comeback. While there was nothing to separate Preston, Sheffield United and Scunthorpe who were relegated to League 1 competition or the third tier of English football. While Brighton, Southampton and Peterborough gained promotion which is another reason why I believe this should be an interesting season in the Championship. And what would it mean to Southampton fans if they do make it back to the top flight after all that the club has been through with financial trouble and administration? Well, the championship started last weekend and just as they bounced up a league, the Saints seem to have their eyes set on the Premier League. Let's look at the results before we view the top half of the championship. Blackpool, Ipswich, Leicester and Cardiff picked up away wins while three promoted sides along with Derby kicked off with home wins. Ipswich 3-0 away win was impressive but it was Southampton's 3-1 win over Leeds is my pick of the bunch. Let's look at the top half of the championship. That puts Ipswich at the top followed by Southampton, Brighton, Derby, Peterborough, Blackpool, Cardiff and Leicester. But it's only one match with another 45 to go. So, now you're proper sorted with the championship. So be sure to join us every Thursday on Hoo-Ha Sport today as we bring you updates from the championship. Tomorrow, we will look at the Premier League fixtures but it will be greatly depending on whether the matches will go on or otherwise and we will bring you that decision as well. Plus, postponement or not, I will share with you my top 10 reasons why you should follow the Premier League this season. Not all statistical but certainly factual. Till then, I'm Patrick for the team saying it's bye for now.